Welcome, welcome again, dear subscribers and viewers of 365 Basics. Now we learn different uh, basics and knowledge uh, from the Bible and other part of life, but connected to the Bible. That is going to help us as Christians. Today we are going to see the uh, the people who are going to survive any time crisis. I want to mention which end time crisis because the Bible is clear about it. But today I want to see the characters of those who are, be, who are going to be able to survive the end time crisis. This is the group of people. End time crisis has been given to different times. The book of Revelation has given us uh, what is going to happen. Starting with the first beast and the second beast and the mark of the beast. But during the time, the time of the, uh, the second beast, of the version from chapter 11, something happens which is the mark of the beast, which goes at the end of the time. And when we go to Revelation chapter 14, we find something which is similar, giving those three, three messages. And the last one talks about the mark of the beast. So it means the, uh, the, the message given uh, is also in relationship with uh, these two kingdoms. The first one, the second message talks about Babylon, the first beast, okay? And this, the, the second message talks about whom? About the mark of the beast, that people should not receive the mist. The second message, I don't mean that th among those three. I mean that among those three, the second, the second and, th and the third one, I make the one to become the first and the other to be the second. Why? Because the, uh, the first one talks about people worshiping God. It talks a bit about people waking up. Talking about creation. But the second one, Warns uh, talks about the fall of Babylon, that is in a prophet, and the th third one talks about the mark of the beast, which is in a prophet. But the first one does not talk directly about the prophet. That's why I said the second and the, th the, the, uh, the, the third one. So the, sec the, the, th the second message of the liberation, now let, us, let me use two, uh, it means three messages. The, th the th second message, which talks about the fall of Babylon, it, it goes directly to the, uh, the first beast of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 1, uh, and, uh, and, and the other following verses. And the third message goes to the, the version, chapter 11, chapter 13, verse 11, the mark of the beast. So when we get this relationship of this prophecy, we have to go to the... Uh, the what, what hope is there for people? How people are going to survive through these hard times? When we go to the end of the, uh, the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, gives us the, the hope for people. And this gives us the hope like this one. And here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ. So you see, these people are going to have two characters. But I want to take you back to another Thing so that we can connect the dots because revelation is actually the prophecy is actually you have to connect the dots to, to get the picture uh, because it's not it's not only about context it's about connecting the dots because this is the book of signs and symbols so you have to unlock the signs and the symbols and connect the dots to find the meaning of the text when we find here we find that these people are passing through the hard times but still their hope is having patience and the faith of whom? And the faith of Jesus Christ. When you go to the book of Revelation, the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, we find the time, the, the prophets, which speaks about the dragon, the woman, and the remnants. And the remnant goes to the end of the time. But still they have the same character. When it says that the dragon was wroth with the woman, it went to make war with the remnant of a seed, which keeps the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So you find again commandments and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Commandments is known, though people do not understand here. They think they understand actually. Yes, it's about commandments, but how? If you want to understand what does it mean about commandments, you have to go to there to understand the faith of Jesus Christ then it will be easier for you to understand about the issue of the commandments. Okay, let us start because the top is Jesus Christ. Now we have patience, means these people are going to have patience. And 
the uh, another thing let us go to the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 we find something that for the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy we are going to connect the the previous that people the previous chapter that we have read chapter 12 verse 17 the people have the commandments of God and testimony of Jesus Christ and he explained testimony of Jesus Christ as the spirit of prophecy all of these spirit of prophecy does not talk about life talks about Jesus Christ and when we go to the faith of Jesus it's about Jesus Christ when we go about testimony of Jesus Christ it's about Jesus Christ so what has it to do with the end time people who are going to survive the crisis I want to make this video short that you can understand so the faith of Jesus Christ comes here and you need to understand what does it mean to have the faith of Jesus so that you can survive the end time crisis. Because people are focusing on making everything light, but still don't know what kill is who. Who kill is who? Jesus Christ is the one who kills the commandments. He's the one who kills everything. So you need to have him. If you have him, you're going to do this one. That's why he started with the commandment and faith of whom? Of Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean that you have faith and then uh, you have commandment, then you add Jesus Christ. No. Jesus Christ is the top. But the commandment is something which is visible. Your life shows. But Christ is in your heart. So we need to find what to lose. What is outside? Do we obey then we know Jesus? Or we know Jesus Christ, we love him, then we obey. So the letter is light. My friend, the faith of Jesus Christ, we need to look on the life of Jesus Christ himself. He trusted it to the Father. He said, I don't do my own works. I don't, do, I don't speak my own words. Whatever I've seen to the, God is what I, to the Father is what I do. He trusted the Father totally. We can see it at the cross. Before the cross, when we go to the, uh, the, the Garden of, of Gethsemane, what we find there when he was going to face the cup of wrath of God because of our sins, he was near to give up, but he said, not my will, but you as Lord. Prayed three times, falling down for us, the faith of Jesus Christ. And then we go to the cross when he said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? I know you, I, I, I know, you know those verses, okay? God, God, why have thou forsaken me? Because you cannot tell a lot of verses. He is saying this one, this one, this one. So when he said last one, just like he was giving up like why separation but he spoke something else father in the hand i commit myself i commit my spirit why faith he believed god was there he believed though sin has separated him but still the father was with him was able to listen unto him he did not give up say i'm done i'm done no hope for me no he believed there's hope that's why he committed his life to the Father. The faith of Jesus Christ is the, peop uh, the people. That means you're going to trust God. You're going to trust Jesus Christ as, trust, as Jesus Christ trusts the Father. Having relationship with the Father made Jesus Christ to, to, to trust his Father like that. It was not like an obligation that Jesus Christ has to trust the Father like that because he had to do that. No, because they had relationship. They had relationship which was so strong and the closeness together that made him to trust him even in hard times. Made him to live the life only that God proposed him to live. I don't believe Jesus Christ, maybe like me, maybe if I was Jesus Christ, like I want to live the life where I don't have a place to sleep. Sometimes you can use an umbrella of an umbrella of saying that uh, I want to preach the gospel so I need to have a car. I need, so I need to have a donkey. Maybe God, Jesus could ask you about the donkey so that, he, so that he could walk all the ways. I don't mean that we should not add those things to help us in a gospel. But um, now I'm talking about the faith of Jesus Christ. He trusted what the Father was able to give him. And what the Father did not give him, he, did not concern about, he was not concerned about himself. He was concerned about people. He could walk, he could sleep in the mountains, spend the time in prayer, the whole night sometimes, 
not caring about food, but it's about salvation of people. Why? Because he trusts the Father and he did the work of the Father that the Father has given him completely, perfectly for the salvation of men. He loved men. So, what we need to know that having the faith of Jesus Christ is the faith that Jesus Christ had. So what, how do we need, how do we have that faith? It means we have to build a relationship with Jesus Christ. A relationship with Jesus Christ does not start by saying, I, I, I need to talk to Jesus alone. It starts by giving up self and accepting him as your savior. When you accept him as the savior, it means you allow him to come into your heart and live in you and give you his spirit. By that you, you start the relationship. So your focus is on relationship so that as you keep focusing on him, you trust on him, you surrender to him. So whatever he tells you, you will do based on love. That's the faith of Jesus Christ is connected to the commandment. Sometimes we have connected it and used it as an hammer to harm other people who are not of our faith because the, their churches do not, not stand on the Ten Commandments. So we use that as a hammer, saying that they're going to get lost. No, that's not how that the Bible says. You may be having the, under the church which say Ten Commandments, but they're going to be lost. Why? Because profess, pro, professing does not make you, and only obedience does not make you become the survivor of the end time crisis. But having the faith of Jesus Christ, which is real, the faith of Jesus Christ, not saying I believe in Jesus Christ, having the faith of Jesus Christ would open the door for you to keep the commandments of God and perfectly. And you won't focus on the commandment of God, surely not, because you're not under the law, but under the grace. But living in the spirit, the law will not judge you because you are free. You want to break it, you want to live under sin because you have been saved from sin. How can you live under the sin? But that the law won't have something to do about with you. But